Okay, fifth grade lesson 67, and this is on writing tenths and hundredths as decimal numbers, which we kind of did in lesson 66, okay? Just a tad. So let's try this, all right? Now, I was showing you a decimal number, okay? And remember how we talked about these were ones, tens, hundreds. Okay, what, tell me what these are to the right of that. What's this first one called? Tenths. Tenths. Remember, think about dimes. Okay? If I had 37 cents, I would have three dimes and seven pennies. Okay? Remember that? Yeah. So if I had seven pennies, how many pennies make up a dollar? Uh, 100. Okay. So that's why this one's called hundred with a THS. Okay? Because it's seven cents of a dollar. Yeah. Or of a hundred pennies. Okay? And what was this one called? Thousands. Okay. Very Thousands. good. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Good job. You said it just right. Okay? So do you understand how it's all set up? Mm -hmm. Now, the cool thing is when we are working with fractions, let's say I was doing five tenths. That's how I would say that. Five tenths. Okay? And because we have this written on the bottom, this actually means the same thing as decimal number 0.5, which says 5 tenths because the 5 is in the tenths spot. Okay. Feel like you understand it? What if this said 5 hundredths? Where would the 5 go? In the tenth spot or the hundredth spot? If it's 5, five hundredths. It would go in the tenths, right? Say with me. This says five hundredths. So, so what spot would it go in? In the tenths, the hundredths, or the thousand spots? Hundredths. It would. Okay. So what happens right here? What do I do? What should I do with that? Because uh, I have to have something in this place. Zero? I have zero. Very good. So that actually says point zero five is the same thing as five hundredths. So when I read this number, I would say... Five hundredths. Yeah. And you'll learn as you get older how to say that. Okay? You feel like you understand it? Yeah. Okay. So tell me what this would look like on our decimal scale. It would be three. Where? On the tenths. On the tenths. Spot. Very That's good. Cool. Okay. What if I said thirty one hundredths? Thirty hundredths. Uh. Okay. You put it in the hundredths, right? Well, I can't put two numbers in that spot. So I want you to watch what I do. Does that make uh, sense to you? Yeah. It okay. Does. Because every number has to have a spot in it, but this shows me that there are three tens. Yeah. Which equals thirty hundredths. Got it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, what if? Let's do one more. Where would that one go? 97 hundredths. Um, nine and the tenths and then seven and the hundredths. Very good. Okay. So, wherever you end with hundredths is where your number ends. So, then you would just fill in whatever's up here, down here. You yeah. got it? So, 97 hundredths is 0.97. Feel like you understand it? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, let's add a number into that. We're going to add a whole number. You remember what to do with whole numbers? You make them bigger. And, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay, so stay with me. Four is a whole number. This would be like yes. four pies, and then the pies were broken up into 100 pieces. So we had four whole pies plus three pieces out of 100 in the other pie. Yeah. You understand? Or the fifth or the fourth. In the fifth pie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But there's only three pieces out of the hundred in that one. Yeah. Okay, but okay. we got four whole pies. Do you remember where I told you whole numbers go on a decimal? With decimal numbers? Uh, whole numbers, they... I know. They go to the left of the decimal. Oh. Uh, okay, because yeah, we have yeah, ones, yeah. tens, and hundreds. Okay? okay. Right now we have four pies, which would be like four dollars. 
Yeah. Okay. If I had 24 pies, Eli, then it would go 24 here. Yeah. I on my it. whole number side. I get it. Okay. Now, so I have four whole pies and three out of a hundred, three hundredths of another pie. Where would that three out of the hundredths go? Uh, in the in which spot? spot? Yes, because that's where it ends. Hundred is where my number ends. And we put a zero on the and place. we point a zero. So this is the same thing as that. In math, those mean the exact same thing. One is written in a mixed number form, fractions, using fractions. Okay. One is written in a decimal form. Okay. Okay, you feel like you understand it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. Got it? Yeah. All right, let me ask you this. I think it'll make more sense if we put money in it for just a minute. Okay, so let's pretend with me, okay? Um, let's say you had... Um, Seven dollars twenty-five cents. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna write over here. Seven dollars twenty-five cents. Okay. Now help me out. Seven dollars is that my whole number? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna put seven here. Now, does twenty-five cents is that the same thing as twenty-five out of a hundred pennies? Yes. Because 100 is in the 100th spot. So 100, if I have 25 pennies out of 100, it gives me 25 cents. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, yeah. So do you see how 25 pennies out of 100 pennies equals 25 cents? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're used to seeing money like this, $7.25. Uh-huh. But what 25 cents is is really 25 pennies out of 100 of them. Right? Yeah. Is 25 cents 25 pennies out of 100? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like you understand? Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. That is lesson 67.